What's going on guys, Sneaker Madness here, I'm back with another video. Today I've got a review and a quick unboxing and on fee of the newly released Nike Air Max 90 Infrared Crop. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this for you and then I'll quickly get into the review, talk about it and then we'll get on to an on foot. So yeah, there's been a whole load of Air Max 90 and threads coming out this year with all different types of colorways. We've seen the corks, we've seen the snake skins, we've seen uh, the velvets. Just recently, we've seen the OG and the reverse. But this crop corn was one of my favorites. The only ones that I really was interested in was the these ones, the OGs, and also the reverse were quite nice. But I think I'm only gonna get the um, OGs and these croc ones look really nice, I had to pick them up, had to look at them and um, yeah, so I finally got them in hand. So I'll quickly show you guys a close up of the label on the box. So as you can see guys, it says Nike Air Max 90 Anniversary. Obviously it's celebrating the anniversary of the Air Max 90, which is why we've seen so much of it this year. US 8.5, UK 7.5 and it official colorway is black, black infrared, white. So this shoe was really, really nice guys. All of the promo pics and stuff like that were really nice. I haven't seen it in hand yet, so this is gonna be my first time seeing it. And it does look really clean, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not a massive fan of patent leather. Um, I don't know how, how much was gonna show on the shoe. But it still looks quite nice nonetheless. I'm a massive fan of really simple shoes. Um, I know a couple of the shoes behind me aren't exactly simple, but um, most of the shoes that I own have like really simple colorways, which is why this was one of my favorite out of the anniversary pack because it was just so simple. Um, I think they retailed for about £100. I picked them up from Foot Locker. They wasn't really that hard to buy. Um, I don't know if they're still available. I'll put a link in the description if they still are, but they came quite quickly. I've never really ordered from Foot Locker online before. Um, quite good service, they came quite quickly. The shoe itself looks really nice, um, materials feel good, and yeah, overall it just looks like a pretty nice shoe. I'm still not sold on this patent leather though. It looks like it's got a bit of uh, glistening glitter in there as well. I don't know if anybody um, has seen these, then you probably know what I mean. But I'll give you a close up of the shoe guys, just so you can get a look at the materials and stuff, and I'll talk you through the colorway. So here it is guys, the Nike Air Max 90 infrared croc. This is celebrating the anniversary pack, as I've already mentioned. We'll start on the sole. As you can see, it's got that normal infrared sole. All of the anniversary pack this year have got the infrared colorway around new materials. That's just kind of keeping the OG, um, the OG colorway within all of these new anniversary celebrations, which is a really cool idea. So you've got that normal Nike Air Max 90 infrared sole with a hit of infrared at the back and also on the toe, 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 and then you've got the Nike branding in the middle in black. Moving on to the midsole, guys. You've got a white midsole, which is really nice, nice and simple. Infrared, and then that big, clear air bubble for cushioning. Really, really nice. You guys probably know that the Air Max 90 is one of my favorite shoes of all time. You've got that crop material, which is a leather, I believe. That's running around the mudguard in black. You guys can see that. It also runs around the back and around the other side. And then you've got that Air Max logo there in the infrared. That seems to be a little bit lighter than the um, paint down here. Uh, which is quite weird because I do think on the OG versions um, the Air Max bit is a bit darker But yeah, they usually are different shades of infrared anyway um, And then you've got that patent leather which you guys can probably see running on the mid paneling and that goes round to the toe box and To the other side is exactly the same and then you've got that black swoosh in like I don't know what material that is actually guys It feels like a a soft suede and then you have got this really nice black leather that I'm quite impressed with to be honest guys on the toe box really nice really soft it's a plain black leather um, and that also runs up towards the back of the shoe as well where you've then got that Nike Air logo in rubber on the back infrared and then you've got also the infrared hits near the laces and then the black rubber hits near the top of the laces on the tongue you've also got the infrared with the Nike logo and Insole, infrared, back of the tongue's infrared, which you like to see, see that on the OGs. Infrared insole with that Nike branding in black. 
So yeah, really nice dope shoe, really clean colorway, goes with pretty much anything. I love infrareds and the Air Max 90s are so comfy guys. Stay true to size, um, always stay true to size with Air Max. The older ones seem to come up a bit big, so if you are thinking about getting an older Air Max, half size down, especially on Air Max ones, because they do come up quite big. But yeah, these are really nice guys. The more I've got them in hand, the more I'm starting to like them. Um, really good materials as well, a lot better than what I thought they were going to be. Haven't really seen the corks and stuff in hand. I've seen the velvets and I really didn't like them, but yeah, these are really, really nice guys. Um, for those of you who, don't, who like patent leather as well, um, it just adds something more to the shoe. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly whack them on feet so you guys can get a better look at them. Thanks for watching guys, that just about wraps up my review, unboxing and on foot of the Nike Air Max 90 Infrared Croc. Make sure to stick around on my channel guys because I've got a load of unboxings and reviews on the way. Let me know what you think about the shoe and if you picked up any infrareds this year um, from the anniversary pack. Just let me know what you think guys. I'll be back with another video soon, thanks for watching and stay tuned. Like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thanks for watching guys.